Hey guys, Randy here, and tonight's video is coming to you courtesy of Banggood.com. In the spirit of Halloween, they have sent me a inflatable horse costume. <laughs> so check him out. He's pretty cool. I think it's funny. Look, I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you can see it back here, he's got an orange butthole. <laughs> anyway, you can see it's a pretty cool costume, or at least at least a goofy looking costume. <laughs> Look at the expression on his face. <laughs> Anyway, tonight I'm coming coming out with coming at you with both a product review and a joke and a brain a brain teaser. So here comes the joke. Horse walks into a bar. Bartender says, "Hey, dude, what's with the long face?" <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> bad one, bad joke. But you'll be telling your friends tomorrow. <laughs> and the second part is the brain teaser. And I don't know if y'all can see a good look at this thing. I was going give to give you a little bit of a tour of this inflatable horse first before I do the brain teaser. You can see he's got little front hooves here. He's got a little orange battery pack here. I can scoot in a little bit closer so you can see it. It actually takes four AA batteries, and it does unplug, so you can take it off and put it down, and the cord is about uh, close to three feet long. So you got plenty of cord to play with. You can tuck it inside if you want to. It was just convenient for me to put it like this for the video. And it's got the little fan on this side. And right away I could tell if you're if, if you're going out on Halloween night and this a night a nice hot sweaty night like it's going to be in Texas, like it typically is in Texas, this thing is going to keep you nice and cool. This little fan is just pumping all kinds of air down through my legs, up here around my stomach. <laughs> And keeps the horse's head up. <laughs> so, if you're interested in this little costume, check it out on banggood.com. The link will be down below. If you're on YouTube, it'll be up above if you're watching this on Facebook. And now for the brain teaser. When they sent me this costume, it got me to thinking about horses and how prevalent horses are in Texas and basically the cowboy lifestyle. I had a comedian one, one time on TV say, cowboy is the one uniform that's still acceptable to wear out in public as a style of clothing. So I thought that was kind of an interesting little factoid because you don't see people wearing uh, surgeons outfits to out on the town. You don't see knights in shining armor out on the town. Just that kind of thing. So it's kind of strange that the cowboy look is a fashion statement not just a lifestyle. So here comes the brain teaser. <laughs> How do you tell the real cowboy when you're looking at a pickup truck and you see three cowboys in the truck? And I'll give you a second to come up with the answer. If you're looking at the front of a pickup truck, you see three cowboys sitting side by side in the pickup truck. How do you determine who's the true cowboy? And a real cowboy, an honest to God cowboy, <laughs> told me the answer. Here it is, the guy in the center the cowboy in the center is always the true cowboy for two reasons. Number one, he doesn't have to drive. And number two, he doesn't have to get out of the car or truck, go to the gate, open the gate, close the gate after the truck goes through and get back in the truck. So that's how you tell a true cowboy. He's the one always sitting in the middle. So now you have a little quiz that you can ask any of your friends who think they're true cowboys and you can determine whether they are what's called in Texas, all hat and no cattle. And all hat and no cattle means he just has a hat and he has no uh, cattle to back up his story. <laughs> so it was that's a term that came from the cowboy days where people would go and BS and try to sell stuff they didn't have or they would try to pass themselves off as a big cattle baron and they didn't have anything to back up their words. So that's why they say all hat and no, and no cattle. <laughs> so, Anyway, if y'all like this little costume, I think it's kind of fun and funny looking. <laughs> I like the way he's got his little eyebrows raised up on one side right there. I don't know whether he's whether he's bored, disgusted, or, <laughs> or, or what, or neutral. You let me know. How do you think he looks? It's almost like I've seen him before on some cartoon or something. I'm not sure. So if y'all have seen him before, let me know, please. <laughs>
I tried Googling it and I can't find his face on Google. So maybe I just saw it in a commercial. I'm not certain. Anyway, hope you like this little review and I'll talk to you later.